State joins the nation in paying homage to father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, on his 70th death anniversary today. Two-day business meeting, Myanmar, India concludes with positive vibes from the Chief Minister of Sagiang Reason today. CAF and PD Minister Karam Shyam encourages the differently able person to live lives courageously, assure them of all possible welfare assistance. Minister Nemcha Kipgin says no work, no pay to irregular staff of district social welfare offices. Cookie Students Organization Technopol Block drew the attention of the state government to make available all necessary infrastructure to enhance the district headquarters. Hello and welcome to Impact News Watching Primetime English News. I'm Kanguzam Shalira with the top stories and latest news at this hour. The nation paid homage to Mahatma Gandhi on his 17th death anniversary today. He was assassinated on this day in 1948. President Ramnath Gobind, Vice President M. Venkya Naidu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid tributes to the father of the nation at Rasgat in New Delhi this morning. Former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, UPA Chief Sonia Gandhi, Congress President Rahul Gandhi and leaders from different political parties also paid tributes. The nation also observed a two-minute silence at 11 a.m. on Martyrs Day. The state joined the nation in observing Martyrs Day to pay respect to the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, as well as to all freedom fighters of the country today. The state-level Martyrs Day observation was held at GM Holt in Fall. Governor of Manipur, Dr. Nasma Heftula, led the dignitaries, including Chief Minister Nong Thumambirin and his Council of Ministers, Opposition Leader Okram Ibobi, MLAs, along with other top civil and police officials, to pay rich floral tributes to the statue of Gandhi. During the observation, a siren was played as a warning signal and closing signal for observance of two minute silence. The two minute long silence was observed as a mark of respect to the departed souls. During the two minute silence, all vehicular movement came to a halt. During the observation, teachers and students of Sri Sri Balt Mukundiv Government Music College in fall presented the favorite bhajans of Mahatma Gandhi to mark the occasion. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee and PCC paid floral tributes to the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, on his 17th death anniversary at the premises of Congress Baban BT Road today. President of the MPCC, T.N. Haukip, noted politicians and workers of the MPCC and Manipur Pradesh Youth Congress Committee took, the part, took part at the observance. National Students' Union of the India, Manipur State has organized a discussion program on the team Gandhian Totes, Godse and RSS ideologies in connection with the 17th death anniversary of the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, at Johnstone Higher Secondary School today. NSUI Manipur State lamented the deeming division of Gandhian ideologies and unity in the country. NSUI Manipur State alleged the BJP-led state government of trying to fragment the state based on the ideologies of Drastriya, Shuam Young, Sevak Sang, RSS. President of the NSUI State Chapter, Bumkin Chandra asserted that it is high time to re-introspect as to on which direction the BJP government based on the RSS ideology of one Hindu nation is leading the country. He accused the BJP government for trying to saffronize every citizen of the country, irrespective of their religion. He also accused the BJP government of following a biased policy in recruitment to higher educational institutes and universities. President of the Indian Youth Congress, Manipur State, Amir Hussain, and students attended the program.
the new government asina pura iba akhoi gi changing scenario mayam ama educational institute ta higher educational institute ta asigumba ideology amakhak yamna ekhoina threatening oiba ideology amakhak khujiksi yamna kanna sandorok pagi maong ama ekhoi satra singna observe tawoda phangja badagi ekhoi asigi tang kuntra asiga mari leina na sinjari ba program asida khudong cha ba lojaraga awareness amasu akhoi society sida hagol aiba satra na harol sing sida ekhoi kari gumba wakhalon afaba khara tungda kari khudong thiningai oirak pa ya bage asigumba rss ki ideology asina makha ta na zum lep leitana sandorok pa taraga di country si kari direction da lakada ge ekhoi gi state si kari direction da lakada ge on the second and the last day of the two-day business meeting, Myanmar India, which commenced at Monday yesterday, business delegate for Manipur met the Chief Minister of Sagian Reason, Dr. Mint Nyang, and other ministers and officials at the Chief Minister's office at Monia in Sangyan today. The Chief Minister along with his officials awaited for the Manipur delegates at the Chief Minister's palace to accord them a warm welcome at 8 this morning. Various entrepreneurs of Sagyan Reason put up stalls displaying their products inside the palace complex. The minister the Manipur delegates were attorneys at witnessing the product exhibited at the stall and had good interaction with the entrepreneurs of Sagyan. Chief Minister of Manipur, Nong Thumban Biren, called on phone when the Manipur delegates were having a tea party with the Chief Minister of Sagyang and extended greetings this morning. After the interaction, Chief Minister Dr. Min Yang Mint Nyang expressed contentment and said that Sagyang and Manipur are the best. During the phone interaction, both the chief ministers invis invited to visit each other. Yes. I'm the chief minister of Zakai region. Please tell me what you want to say. I'd like to work. I'd like to work. Please invite him. Please invite him. Zakai region. I warmly welcome to you. Okay. Yes, I'm okay. okay. All, all happy to to meet at this meeting in. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. The business meet held at the Chief Minister's conference hall since 8.30 this morning set off with a warm reception extended by Chief Minister Dr. Min Nyang to the business delegates from Manipur. The Manipur delegates were given time to make their presentations. MLAP Browson suggested opening an English medium school in Tamu to overcome communication barriers between the two nations. MLA Vaisur Chandra stated that special reservations may be made in Manipur University for Myanmar students. Dr. Dr. MD Dr. Paulint of Caesar Hospitals and Research Institute gave presentation on the benefits and various facilities for medical treatment available in Manipur. He also suggested legalization of both the trades to enhance revenues of both the countries. Saigang is Minister, His Excellency, as you know, that I quite discussed and talked with the Queen Kange. Immediately, I quite you know, but this is Minister, and see two of the family was quite emotional integration of Lapa. And a man, a muggy importance, a kangler, and an uneasy putting the socket minabogi dark cars, the Kodosi, as an equity impact of a power pangi, Maramaduna, Saigang, Gistim Minister Sigat, Naikogi, Honorable Sim Minister of Morning to State Pon Tore, and a quick Sim Minister Z, Amutang Bijit Torga, Sim Minister, an easy Paminaga Pun Naikogi, a quay, Mang of the Karmana Tun, a sanction of a sequoi, one of a sea, Yamna Tuna Matota and a built away, is that Namaki, socket for the Yamna Tuna Quay. Convener of the ACS Policy Manipur, R.K. Shiv Chandra, spoke in detail for opening the Eastern Gateway to bring benefits for both Sagyang and Manipur. He drew the attention of the Chief Minister, Ministers and Officials of Sagyang to make available on arrival visa and land route visa. Chief Minister of Sagan Treason, Dr. Min Nyang, responded to the cessation stating that an in-depth discussion will be held when the Chief Minister of Manipur, Nong Thumbambiren, visits Sagan Treason on whether a memorandum of understanding can be signed for the land route permit since there is already an in-principle agreement for the highest level cross-border movement between the two countries. On a rather serious note, 
Chief Minister Dr. Mint Nyang urged to review the high custom tax rates imposed by the Indian government on beans, three varieties of pulses and vital nuts. He highlighted the plights of the farmers due to the high tax rates and urged the delegates from Manipur to consider the matter in a serious manner. Dr. Mint Nyang said that he welcomes investors and good policy programs for enhancement of the region's health, trading and human resource sector and assured the delegates of his full cooperation. Gotagaya is one important sign that any Buddhist in Jagang division needs to go once in a year because it is something like the Muslim goes to Mecca and we go to Hindus goes to Dwarka or Mathura like that. So every Buddhist who are Jagang and predominantly who are Buddhist country, Buddhist state, I think they need to go to Gotagaya once in a lifetime, if not once in a year. Editor-in-Chief and Managing Director of the media group Mizima Foundation based in Yangon and Nepito, So Mint, who took an active role in organizing the two-day business meet held at Mandalay on January 29 and in Segang Treasant today, asserted that the business meet will significantly contribute in enhancing the harmonious relationship between the two countries and express hope for changes from both the countries at the earliest. We are going to have a two minister, two chief ministers of the region to sit together very soon, and we are going to have a follow-up meetings. Uh, I I believe that uh, this will uh, give further interaction. This will give uh, better uh, relations. Also, uh, whatever we do, we do it very emotionally. We do it with with our heart. Of course, heart is important, brain is important, but without Hard, you cannot uh, do well with the head. CAF and PD Minister Karam Shem asserted that differently able persons are able to accomplish things which normal person cannot achieve. The minister appealed to the differently able person not to lose heart and courageously live and contribute to the welfare of the society. He was speaking at the launching event of community-based rehabilitation project for persons with disabilities as part Spastic Society of Manipur campus at Tapokpi Bazar Langthabal Kunja today. Speaking at event jointly organized by Spastic Society of Manipur and National Institute for Locomotive Disabilities, Kolkata, Karam Shem said that he will raise proposals at the cabinet to set up a primary health center at Tapokpi in Langthabal constituency. He also assured that the road leading to Spastic Society of Manipur will be repaired soon. The minister also mentioned that Chief Minister Nongthumam Biren is urgent earnestly taking up various works for the welfare of the poor, differently able persons and the widows. Garam Shem assured that he will also do all the possible for the welfare of the society. Ten differently able persons with hearing, vision and locomotory disabilities were presented with capes on the occasion. A blood donation came to us also held as part of the event. <laughs> Speaking on the occasion, Education and Labor Minister T.H. Radisham said, Women of the state are more compassionate and make more sacrifice than their men counterpart. He expressed that men should also sacrifice for the welfare of the downtrodden. The minister assured that a skill development center for the differently able person will also be set up soon on the campus of Spastic Society of Manipur under the funding of the Labor Department. Radisham also assured that a van for the differently able person will be gifted and will create posts for in the Education Department. He maintained that community-based rehabilitation will not be successful without the involvement of people in a community. Community. He appealed for support and participation from people and members of the club. Problem labor to Kaurahing, Aigi, the Aigi, Suda, Aigi, 
Canoda Yorokan, so I saw Kanga, the Matin Bangayan. Other Massi in Volto, I said, Tangai Padana, a quick Kunamaki Tone. Upon noticing the poor attendance record of staff at Social Welfare Office in Bisnupur District, during a surprise visit, infuriated Social Welfare and Cooperation Minister Namcha Kibgen asserted that no work, no pay policy will be enforced soon on the defaulters. The minister also cautioned the defaulters to submit their legitimate explanation for their absence at the earliest. Minister Nemcha made a surprise visit to the Bisnupur office after receiving complaints from the public regarding frequent unability of social welfare staff in both Bisnupur and Thabal district social welfare offices, stating that biometric devices are being installed in the social welfare department headquarters. Nemcha Kibgen said biometric devices will also be installed soon in all the district offices. She directed the district social welfare office to cooperate and work sincerely for the welfare of the public and to treat them well during their visit in the office. On the other hand, District Child Protection Unit DCPU, appealed the visiting minister to take measure for various inconveniences facing the unit. DPCU staff shared the grievances of the irregular payment of salary, inconveniences faced during field works due to non-payment of travelling allowances, etc. The minister urged them to report in return to the head office immediately whenever problem arises. Uh, Bishnupur, the district social welfare officer ki office check to the Maramdi praya singna lak rega office da pungbaro de sumi karakte pungni de su karakte haibagi maram oiduna isa mak chat lega makoi gi office check to bachak pani makoi gi attendance check to we ka de ba mayam do explanation ibi rega engon da jogai nangai instruction pi bi re thabak do de ba office ka de ba no work no pay haiba do implement to rakani thabak haiba sri sarkar na praya gi seba to ningai service pi ram bani na sa service to ba Prajagi seba toning to the bot missing do no work no pay ge rule to application to Rakani. Social Welfare Minister Namcha Kibgen paid a surprise visit to homes for women under Uswala project and Swadagri, a comprehensive scheme for prevention of trafficking and rescue, rehabilitation and reintegration of victims of trafficking and commercial sexual exploitation under Ministry of Women and Child Development, Government of India today. The minister warned that actions will be taken against authorities of the Uswala and Swadar homes, which are commercialized. She paid visit to six homes in Bisnupur district, Imphal West and Imphal East district. The minister found that only one Uswala home and two Swadar homes were functioning properly out of the three Uswala homes and three Swadar homes that she inspected today. She appreciated the homes which were functioning properly by providing vocational training to its beneficiaries. Nemcha Kibgen said that she will continue to inspect other homes in different areas of the state. It may be mentioned that the Swadar scheme was launched by the Union Ministry of the Women and Child Development in 2002 for rehabilitation of the women in difficult circumstances. surprise visit Ministry of uh, Women and Child Welfare Development of Gi Makada Paikat Liba Nupi Singi Uiba Skim Sing Ujala Amashung Swadha Home Singda Zing Sin Lubada Laypom Tok Tokba Fibamda Layramba Aduga Layramdaba Tingare Madugi Matung in Exxon Paikat Gani Adu Makatana Atopa District the Surprise Surprise Check Toki Gani Jisik it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on KSO Technopol block urging the state government to develop Technopol district headquarters. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. President of Cookie Student Organization, KSO Technopol Block, H. Daniel Marty, drew the attention of the state government to make available to all the necessary infrastructure at the district headquarters of Technopol District. Addressing media person at KSO Technopol Block office in Technopol District headquarters, Daniel further demanded the state government for an exclusive budget for Technopol District headquarters in the state budget session of 2018-19. He also urged for construction of the office buildings for 
various departments in the district. He drew the attention of the state government to repair the connecting road from Technopol to Sangshak community by people of more than 30 villages on the Technopol block, which has been neglected for more than 20 years before the onset of the monsoons. Daniel further urged the state government to declare the district headquarters and its surrounding areas as tourist destination and take necessary measures for the same. The Nepal district has been infrastructure upgrade to the DC office and SP office. The district has been developed in the district. The department has been developed in the state government. The district headquarters has been developed in the upgrade to the district. The district has been developed in the upgrade to the district. The education department has been developed in the uniform. Textbook ni session holding ada PBO. Recently siam na launch tau buat ambulance tu. Tiap district tepi ke tau buat hill district tepi ke tau buat. Jauh itu na pada pang tau bersih. Kali ini malam dah hai bersih. Jauh itu kang nini. Technopol District Police arrested a self-styled Lance Corporal of proscribed KCP Noyon Crude from Mori Town around 7 this morning. The arrested person is identified as Asim Nishikanta alias Topanba, 22 years son of Tomba from Ningtokong Kakuno. Impact News sources said the police team led by Inspector Peter Runkumar in association with 8 MR Assistant Commandant T.H. Krishna Tombi carried out the cordon operation under the supervision of the SP Technopol as Ibomcha at the surrounding area of the Eastern Shrine Ground in Mori. Asem Nisikanta confessed to be working under one self-styled Lieutenant Langam. Education Minister Toksom Dradisham said that two hostels for special need of children will be constructed with 50 bed each for boys and girls at Bisnupur and Moirang. He also assured to extend all possible support to the laborers and working class people from the Department of Labor and Employment. He said Manipur is complete with its numerous ethnic groups inhabiting the state and Jiru is one of the important community. The minister was speaking as the chief guest at the opening ceremony of the 15th Jiru Students Conference 2018 organized by Chiru Students Union, Northeast India, under the team Beyond Quality at Sadhu Chiru Village in Kampopi District today. Citing example of Troti Bank Mumbai, an initiative taken out by the Mumbai Dabawalas Subhas Dalekar, who had decided to feed the poor staying on footpaths, TH Radisham said that it is also the right time for the state to adopt such practice of saving the food and waging war against hunger. He advised the students to understand the cycle of time, the past, present and future because as human has to learn from the past for better present and the future. The minister advised the students coming from 13 villages to share their experiences to each other and learn from one another by nurturing the strengths and overcoming the weaknesses. Chairman MPCB and KVIB L. Radakishor, SDO, BDO, Bungte Chiru, Laron Baal, Mar, Village Chiefs, President of Chiri Union, North East, Faitung Jatak, students and people in the locality attended the opening ceremony. The conference, which will conclude on February 3, will witness numerous competitions in games, sports and literary events. Office of the Deputy Commissioner Tobal District in a press list said the villages in Yairipok, Kongjom and Hairok SDC jurisdiction can collect their computerized copy of Jamanbandi Pata from the Land Records Computerization Room Tobal DC upon payment of 50 rupees from today. The press release further stated that issuance of handwritten land records or Pata will no longer continue with immediate effect from today. Global Shepherds Infall Hub will organize Infall Jambori with an aim to promote entrepreneurship among the youth of the state. Infall Jambori will be held from held for, will be held for three days from February 3 to February 5 at the premises of Lamboy Konang Kong Industrial Estate. Speaking to media person at Manipur Press Club today, curator of Global Shepherds Infall Hub, Elizabeth Okram, stated that Infall Jambori aims to promote entrepreneurship among the youth in the state for bring a change the youth's mindset of government job dependency. 
Panel discussion, startup pitch out competition will be held during the three days program. She announced that the winner at the startup pitch out competition will be sponsored to participate at the boot camp in Los Angeles, while the second and third position holders will visit Japan for the same participation. She appealed to all the interested entrepreneurs of the state to register at www.globalshapoinfault.org or to visit Helena Colors at Pauna Bazar near Santibala Memorial School by tomorrow. Panel discussion. So the we participate of the youths in the college students in the main focus of college students. Because you know, the most graduation lawyer go what next? Have a malay banina. Moe gisu self sustain or never self employment key. It hints at my absolute pokna by revolution in a lak panina. We see a panel discussions. No more the guiding platform. Ama oyena thazi quiggy boot camp. Masagi startup enterprise to a top magumba enterprises. Mayamanga pullaga moi masen amaga amaga health toraga. Kabina hena chow no built out built out with a gay hibagi mentorship. Yam the pangadoba platform oido inishigi boot camp say. 30 beneficiaries to a distributed gas connection to under Uswala schemes at Nongdom in Lamlai constituency today. Social worker, executive member of state BJP, social worker of Lamlai constituency and international football player KH Ibomsa, member of Telochana Saijang Jila Parishad Hamom Ongbi Jamini, Pradhan of Nongring Chingnungkho Gram Panchayat Mayang Langbond Bilasan, Bilasani and Ningthaujams Sanang and Beat were among those present on the occasion. Free eye screening and cataract surgery camp was held today at Kesampa Tiam Plegai Community Hall. It was organized by CISA Eye Care Foundation, NPCB, NHM, and Kesampa Tiam Plegai Development Committee, KTLDC. Speaking to media person, President of KTLDC, Chong Tham Iboyama said, the camp is being organized particularly for those people belong to below poverty line in the area. The camp also offered free cataract surgery and subsidized surgery for other eye care. Defects. Deputy Commissioner Chorjambu District Shamlan Punia has declared to make Chorjambu District a leprosy free today. He made the announcement during the launch of Sparse Leprosy Awareness Campaign come to anti leprosy fortnight observance organized by District Leprosy Unit and LEP. DHS Georgeampur at CMO Mini Conference Hall. The campaign to create awareness about leprosy is held on January 30 every year to commemorate the martyrdom of Mahatma Gandhi. Speaking as the chief guest of the function, Shyamlan Punia mentioned that the district administration would make all out efforts to find all leprosy cases as early as possible and use all possible resources available in the district to achieve the objective. Ras Medicity Hospital, in association with Lupin Pinnacle, conducted a one-day awareness program on the team. Heart attack is preventable at the hospital premises in North AOC today. Chairman of Manipur Industrial Development Corporation and Manipur Electronics Depa Development Corporation Limited, Dr. Radishyam Yumnam, lauded organizers for the awareness program. Speaking in connection with the awareness program, President of Manipur Heart Care Society, Dr. K. S. H. Kala mentioned that 17.3 million people in the world, including 2 million from India, die of heart attack every year. He said that the death rate for the state of Manipur is also high at present, but this can be reduced with regular physical exercises and adopting good food habits and healthy lifestyles. Managing Director of Ras Medicity, Haubizam Drazen, Senior Physician of Ras Medicity, Dr. T. H. Joy, Asa workers, students, and many people attended the awareness program. So, my 
ekule shido shi hakbi jinde kan shido de asuk malo ya thoro ji shida na wada wada hasi mafana ka sabda ai patam shahana hak maran ko din shido de she masi prevent ho ya hak ate is prevent de ko kai din maro ko to che masi no me ma khana na na ni State Academy of Training Manipur released its calendar for the year 2018 for the first time today. The release event was held at the office chamber of Minister Tongambia Swazit at New Secretariat. Speaking on the occasion, Minister in charge of the administrative reforms, Tongambia Swazit said first class government employees such as MCS, MPS officers, and top officers to lower class employees of various departments are provided advanced trainings at State Academy of Training to have good governance in the state. The minister said the calendar of the academy was released with an objective to let the public understand the role and activities of the State Academy of Training Manipur. He said that the academy will continue to provide training on administrative reforms to the employees. Director General of the Academy, Oinam Nabakishor, Additional Director, A. Sivda Sarama and other officials of the academy attended the event. Employees in the Changa Ebersing Star, Queen Anova, Nahanga, that we were Portnina, Masid Hen, Encouragement, Pirakan, McQueen Hen, Estate Kiwina, Responsibility, Yamna Sound, Loraga, Tabuk, the Wira Kudaki, Havik Pandam, the Kuna Training, Sea, Makang Makagi, Satanula, Administration, Sea Hen, Pagana, Tawadagi, Havik Matang, the Swakuna, Training, Makalmaka, Hogunga was Swakuki, State Academy, Training, a quick disease, Sule Ville, the Golonuna, a quick lady, Commissioner Sing, a quick CS Kazutanaga, Quickana, Matang Say, the Honova Haiduna, the Gomasigi Matang, the Quina. Fun na sing wasu ekwe ki budget si pick na pick na yau wasu kare he na pire har kanda hari ba kadam si he na ma pangan kala la kanda ekwe ki foundation wari mo ham si he na kala kanda ekwe ki tungda tholak kadawa posak singje ya productivity si hengan na ba ekwe na pandam gulone na ekwe training pi na ba hona jagani. And now in sports. YDO Sora beat the rivals in the first Hanebsa Memorial State level Manipur Muslim football tournament. In the first match of the tournament played today, YDO Sora beat. BYDA Kwakta Gram Panchayat 1 0. Well, in the second match, FASO Khetri Mayagleka Imphal East was handed a walkover victory as Dynamo's Mayang Imphal West did not turn out. LIC Moijing Thobal District will meet KMFC Kairang Imphal East in the first match, while RSFC Kwakta will meet SMMC Santil Thobal District in the second match tomorrow. NSTU Naran Konjin became the champion of the 29th Langthabal Kendra Inter Clubs football tournament. In the final match of the tournament played today, NSU Naran Konjin beat CYDOL Chazing Chingkong 1 0. The winning goal of NSU Naran Konjin was netted by TH Priyozit in the ninth minute of the match. The winner of the tournament was presented a cash prize of 20,000 rupees and a running trophy, while the runners of CYDOL Chazing Chingkong was presented with 10,000 rupees and a running trophy. CAF and PTS Minister Karam Shyamt and President of Chazing Inat Kanbalut L. Lanchant distributed the prizes to the winners of the tournament. Twelve football teams took part in the tournament. Seven member team of all Manipur Working Journalist Union Amju left for Assam to participate in the Gilversant Sakma and Debasis Right Trophy Prize Money Himalaya States Media Futsal. Five a side football tournament to be held at Guwahati from February 1 to February 4. The football tournament is organized by Assam Electronic Media Sports Journalist Association. The AMZU team was flagged out by director of Mahut and Git Kumar at Manipur Press Club in fall today. Representatives from the eight northeastern states and the states of Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh will participate in the football tournament. We give five men a side football futsal sikhana kangnavasi competition sida Manipur ki journalist team tariyat na saru ka agatori na siya dui dongta lamtha bagi thobo mudu pangkok pani ekoi na Manipur ki players sing si journalist ki team sing si mau sana dum prize am logali na handak su soi dona Manipur ki mingset pura kani hai pya hi achet pathasa zaman. 
East Bengal FC and Minerva Punjab FC were drawn 2-2 in an I League match today. The match commenced at Barasat Stadium, Kolkata, at 2 this afternoon. Minerva FC, Sukhdeep Singh and Gelson netted the two goals for the team in the 20th and 33rd minutes of the match, while the equaliser for East Bengal FC were netted by Joby Zay and Bala Remdika B in the 59th and 88th minutes of the match. Churchin Brothers will meet Naroka FC at Tilak Maiden Goa tonight 8-8. The fourth I'd League match table shows Naroka FC at the second position with 21 points and for 12 matches played, while Churchin Brothers with 10 points for 9 matches is at the bottom of the league table. Triathlon Association Manipur in a press release said the Senior National Triathlon Championship 2018 will held at Visakhapatnam and the Pradesh on March 10th and 11th. Selection trial for state senior men and women for the triathlon chip championship will be held at Kumant Lampak on February 11th in the morning at 9.30. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. State joins the nation in paying homage to father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, for on his 17th death anniversary today. Two-day business meeting, Myanmar India concludes with positive vibes from the Chief Minister of Sagan Prison today. CAF and PD Minister Karam Shyam encourages the differently able person to live lives courageously, assure them of all possible welfare assistance. Minister Niam Chakibgen says no work, no pay to irregular staff of district social welfare offices. Cookie Students Organization Technopol Block drew the attention of the state government to make available all necessary infrastructure to enhance the district headquarters.